So today I'm going to show you the new Robinhood Legend desktop version of your Robinhood account. Now I have early access to this, so you might not have this just yet, but as you gain access to this, I'm going to show you a little bit more on how this gets used. So we're actually here on the Legends dashboard and you can actually see there's really nothing on here as of this recording. And so what we want to do is actually show you what it would look like to go ahead and add some widgets. Like you can see up here on the top right, it says to add widgets. They also have um, some layouts that you can go ahead and get started from with some templates. So if you click here, you can choose different layouts that you would like. Now for ours here, if you wanted to go ahead and add a widget, you can, and then go ahead and pre-populate with some information. You can also go ahead and customize these columns in different ways, however you see fit. And you can also rename this however you would like as well. Now what's really cool too is you can actually not just drag this around here, but you can actually even change its sizes, which is always a really nice thing. So you could truly make this however you see fit. Now for my example here, I'm actually in my individual account, but if you toggle over here, you can actually go into additional accounts that you might have. So if you have a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA, you can do this for any of the accounts that you actually have with your Robinhood account. So from here, let's go ahead and add another chart for us. So we can go ahead and go into our options chart. And then here on the left hand side, you can actually go ahead and even change colors for these as well. So you can see that you can have that changed in real time. And again, just like the other one, you can actually go ahead and adjust this as needed to fit your screen. And uh, as they showed in the presentation, you can actually have multiple screens, which is going to be really nice if you have a lot of data points you want to be looking at at the same time. And then I went ahead and added in a chart here at the very bottom and pretty much have it all set to go based off of what I would like. And on the top left here, I can go ahead and put any name that I want on here. And then I can even go up here at the very top where it says extended hours and switch over to portfolio performance. And this kind of just changes the color based off of the day's trading, whether it's green or red, and it'll have it go ahead and switch back and forth automatically for me. And a few other little details here as well. Some of them will have these little uh, filter sections where you can go ahead and change out the filters or you can clear any filters as well as if you wanted to go ahead and remove just click on the little three dots and then you can go ahead and delete that widget and add different ones or extend any of the other ones so if we wanted to go ahead and delete this and then just extend this in real time you can do that all in one quick movement now robin hood did mention that this is going to be entirely for free so it doesn't cost you anything to go through and get all of this data as well as having access to robin hood legends and like I mentioned earlier, they are going to be rolling this out for users over time. So definitely keep checking on it to see when you have access. Now, let me know in the comments section down below if you are excited for Robin Hood Legends. And also do me one big favor, hit that subscribe button here. We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. Now, just in case you are somebody who's wanting to transfer over their brokerage onto Robinhood, I got you covered on a video showing you step-by-step -step on how to do just that.